Shopping online has never been easier. YoYo searches the web for coupons to save you money on the things you just gotta have. Wow, that's almost 20% off this coffin. What other crazy deals can YoYo's get me? Whoa, 60% off another coffin. YoYo's, it only works for coffins, which is... Hello and welcome to the pod. Before we get into this week's guest, just a quick FYI that next week there will be no episode. Boo. Well, because I've been <laughs> selected for jury duty. Um, so I'm, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's fun. It's a bit of an honour, really, because it's a really high-profile case. Obviously, I can't divulge any details, otherwise I'd be. Oh, is this the Piers Morgan thing? Okay, I probably will be around then. Oh, sick. A uh, little FYI mind as well, guys. Um, I have finally got a trailer for my YouTube channel, courtesy of Maz's insane editing skills. Maz, r r r r r r r roll tape. Just focus on the tightness of the edit and ignore the content. That little street to the right there, just there, is, is all is London. Uh, and the thing down here and round there, all of this is London. So you, you did just work there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got my packs up for a late shift tonight. <laughs> so funny. Again, no involvement in the content. Well, you say that, Maz. You cut quite a lot out. There's literally five hours of him mopping up paint. Oh, fucking Marcus, man. I'm telling you. I taught that boy everything he knows. He's still an absolute nightmare. But yeah, do like and subscribe, guys. Oh, I've got an amazing new vid dropping tomorrow, actually, in which I finally reveal who would win in a boxing match between an in-his-prime Mike Tyson and me as I am now. Who would... Well, Tyson. Well, check the vid and find out, yeah. There's no way I'm going to watch that vid. Obviously, Tyson. What, no spoilers. You I'm say not you spoiling it. Matt's shown it to you. How do you know it? Matt hasn't though? shown it to me. I don't need to watch the video to understand. So you versus Tyson? No, and in his prime Mike Tyson. You're just stacking it more that way. The best he ever... Uh, his best, his physical peak. Me as I am now. Which is not your peak. Versus uh, absolutely best he ever was. 10 out of yeah, 10 Tyson. across the board. Tyson, I don't know why that's a debate. Watch the vid, find out, mate. Watch the vid and find out. Okay, well... Actually, one thing I haven't... I mean, do watch it, but in this hypothetical situation, he's, like, normally boxing normal, just in his normal stuff, whereas I'm in a very uncomfortable, quite tight suit. Like, I not, can't move that well. Whereas he's just, like, coming at me. Yeah, I, as I say, I think Tyson would win that. Watch the video. Watch the video. I'm just going to play the app, because if this goes on, I'll be editing for fucking days again. Yeah, he'd absolutely batter me, the boy. We are here today talking masculine identity with Matthias Debouche. Good day, sirs. Mate, so sick to have you on the pod. I've got to say, I've been a huge fan for years. I loved your uh, how-to men's style vids back in the day. You know, the uh, God, the bow ties, the braces, those incredible handkerchiefs. Yeah, I've moved on from that shit. Okay. Fashion is for simps, beaters. <clears throat> Right. Okay. So most of my questions are about um, gender play, jewellery, and Harry Styles. I, I've got no interest in the woke degradation of the traditional male. You've changed quite a bit, then, haven't you? But I'm just concerned for society's future, for my boys' future. You have sons, nine nephews, and they are growing up in cock culture. I don't think any of these are going to be top five men's nail varnish. No. So, so uh, cock 
culture. That um, that's yeah. um it's the liberal war on masculinity that has cocoded our generation. A war? Yeah. It's everywhere. Think about it. Social media, bowing down, submitting to an algorithm. That's cut culture. Football, worshipping a ball when you've got two of your own. That's cut culture. Brushing your teeth. You know, those little guys work for you, but you want to make them feel good. That's cut culture. Yeah, feel good. Well, it, it's, it's high. So you don't brush your teeth? Brother, when cut culture reaches this far, you have to abstain. Name something, name anything. I don't, I don't do it. Uh, fly fishing. I don't do it. Thatching. Don't do it. Name more regular things. Uh, uh, sifting a s- silt bed for tin. That, that, these are just like weird things. Don't come on the stag do I'm organising them. Pissing yourself, Matthias, just completely losing control. Like zero composure, like li- everywhere. Handbrake off, sunroof down, thin trouser, full bladder, go. Not that that is something that I wouldn't do generally. Right, just general. Because yeah. it's cut culture or because it's just piss? Just because it's piss. It's piss. Yeah. Uh, but would you borrow from fetish culture for a flirty look? I'm going to lose the question. This week's episode is brought to you by Grubstitute, an online course that teaches you simple swaps to create tasty dishes without costly ingredients. No muscovado sugar? Try caster. Can't find milled flaxseed? An egg yolk will work. Leo, what are you rustling up for us today, mate? Well, I had a recipe for a truffle-infused veal with fermented matcha. Ooh, a store uh, cupboard staple. <laughs> well, exactly. Uh, but now, of course, yeah, I know how to think of my feet. Yeah. So, instead of truffle, I've gone field mushroom. Spot on. Uh, veal swaps out for chicken thigh. Lovely. And mint and baking powder actually gives you that matcha consistency. That's what Grub Substitute is all about, putting heart and instincts above fussy details. Now, Leo, it looks fantastic. Let's see how it tastes. That is vile. That is fucking disgusting. Oh, why have you done that? That is a minty, salty mess. I was just trying to, they said about doing the swaps. It hasn't worked at all. It hasn't worked at all. Can I get your water or something? No, because you're going to swap it for something fucking mad. You, you've come on today and you, you know, you've know you said men don't do this, don't, yeah. don't do that. That's cut, that's cut. That's cut. But, but what are you suggesting that men do do? Well, for a start, uh, listen to my pod, The Malehood Method. The Malehood yeah. Method, okay. Maz, do you want to pull up the... Yeah. Okay, 840 episodes. That's a lot of episodes. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a lot of ways to fight gut culture. Right. Most importantly, really, really simple, raise your testosterone by any means possible. Protein, squats, ignore women. Did you just say ignore women? I think that's... Oh, he's... Do- yeah, he's doing... He's still ignoring her. Right. Say nothing if you're a cuck. <laughs> but Berlin... Why did you just randomly say Berlin? No, I didn't randomly say that. I win. No, no, because just ignoring you, even for a few seconds, has raised my tea levels so high that I can actually taste copper in my mouth. So, do you know what you need to do? What? You need to go out right now and kill an animal. What? I do it every day. No, you don't. I do. Yeah, I, I'll do it right now. I'll bag one. It'll take me ten minutes. Is, is there a farm nearby? Because it's quicker if there's a farm nearby. There's not a farm nearby. Uh, yeah. I really don't think that you should go out and kill Time a... to tee up, brothers. Excuse me. <laughs> Is he like, appalling? Fucking obviously. Obviously, yeah. yes, yes. I've just done some digging now and he was retweeted by Epstein. Are you serious? What was the tweet? Well, the tweet itself is all right. Oh, that's, that's actually quite... That's, well, that's lovely, but still, you don't want Epstein running your stuff up the flagpole, do you? Why did Leo, why do you even like this guy? Man, honestly, he used to be so different. Uh, Maz, pull up his bit about handkerchiefs. So, today we are talking... Paisley. And on a quick side note, women are not to be trusted or respected. Ah, signs were there. Now, the dangers of Paisley... Blinded by colour and texture, again. <sighs> what do we do? Don't release the episode. Or we can, like, make an example of him and then do release it. You think in Gunge? The number of times you think gunging is even an option staggers me. Dave Benson Phillips. Don't just say his name. Provide Gunge. Offer a pump. I just think Dave would know where to get that stuff. I've got an idea. Pass his laptop. Benson Phillips? And Matthias. Matthias is, yeah, much easier. Yeah. Oh, I doubt Dave's even got a lappy, to be honest with you. Poor lad's been out of work since the millennium. Probably can't even stretch to a Lenovo. Poor lad. <sighs> OK, it's done. Wiped his podcast, all apps deleted. You've wiped his whole pod... Oh, fucking hell. Wow. <laughs> wow. Matt. 
Just sorry, just to double check, Belton Brace is, is that Matisse's pod or Benson Phillips? It's Matisse's, yeah. Obviously. Benson Phillips hasn't got a podcast, has he? Are you joking? <laughs> Gungecast. He's right. It's like number three worldwide. It's quite good, actually. Really? Yeah. I thought you said he couldn't stretch for a Lenovo. Tight hamstrings. Tight hams? Oh, she meant literally. He's got a condition. It's been well, he's done it, talked about in interviews. He's got, a, it's called a hamstring seize up. What does he do on the podcast? They just talk back through top, you know, top gunges throughout history. Gets guests on, guests reflect on their favourite gunges. Who's guested on it? They've had Hank Azaria on. Who's they have g- Ant from Ant and Dex been on there. They had Deck on as well. Uh, Graeme Souness. <sighs> I wonder what animal he's going for. Hmm. Rat would be easy. You say that, but yeah, yeah. find me a rat. Mads, can we get a round trip estimate to London Zoo? Because yeah. I'm getting a bit concerned, I know. Some rare turtles there. It'd be a shame if it was one of one. Which is why limestone erodes in such a distinctive way. Hmm. Hmm. Great. And uh, do you have any thoughts on uh, cuck culture? Sorry? Feels like that, doesn't it? There we go. Okay. Bye bye then. Bye bye. I didn't know that about quartz. All 840 episodes. Can I ask why? (coughs) We uh, we just sort of felt as a group that you and your views and everything, it was just really, really, really horrible. So. You finally get it. You took the fight to me. You got that testo pumping and you mined up. I did it. Okay, well, that's annoying. That squirrel was clearly already dead. Yeah. Yeah, sixty nine ninety nine. Deeper than the rivers of my heart. I think no music next week. Thank you very much for listening. I'm in half a mind to delete this episode because this is actually, thanks to Maz, the last digital scrap of Matthias on the internet. But I, ultimately, we really do need that grubs that you add money. So um, I think we've got to, we've got to I keep... I can cover the hit if it came to it. You know, I've got yeah. patio season coming up and oh, that means bonuses. <laughs> patio season? What? You work at Leyland. Well, that's what they think. Yeah, accurately. <laughs> you... <laughs> you keep doing shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, apologies, of course, to the fascinating Sue Pritchard. Uh, do listen out for the geology podcast that she thought she was guesting on. Um, oh. You okay? What the hell is in your supper? Oh, yeah. Um, I substituted um, a ham sandwich for a fucking rank orange, tuna flakes, and a bottle of red wine. Mm-hmm.